As we begin the new year, I wanted to put together a list of all the brand new Unity assets I'm most excited for in 2024. These are a mix of free and paid, so there's a little bit of something for everyone in here. If you are watching this early, most of these are included in the new year sale and are half off, links in description below. If you are watching this a little bit later, make sure to subscribe and get notified so I can tell you when it's on sale again. Let's jump in. Starting off with an amazing asset, we have this incredibly robust and stylized weather simulator. This is one of the coolest assets I've ever seen, hands down. I thought this was so cool that I've already bought it for a farming game that I've been working on for a while. It's compatible for all render pipelines and has so many effects that you could use. Of course, it has the basics like rain, clouds, sunny skies, and snow, but it goes so much deeper into the effects as well. Everything you could want in a weather system is here. I would even call it more of an environment simulator because it's that robust. Not only do they have every type of weather you can imagine, but it has smooth transitions between every effect. It's very out of the box. It only takes a couple of clicks to get set up, but everything is customizable. You can have custom seasons with custom effects. You can even change how quickly the sun sets in different seasons. Just how on earth the sun is out for longer in the summer and shorter in the winter. You can do that here too. If the weather is an integral part of your game, such as a farming game, you can make custom profiles and extract the data that you need at the right time. It has an entire time of day system already set up so that your game transitions from sunrise to midday to sunset seamlessly. It has an accurate moon system. I'm honestly blown away. And I love that there's so much attention to detail. I feel like a lot of weather systems almost completely ignore the nighttime aspect and kind of slap on a default night sky, but nighttime is equally as beautiful as the daytime and has cloudy skies, rainy skies, and thunderstorms. There are some novelty effects as well. I particularly like the meteor shower and the aurora borealis effect. But I think the thing I'm most impressed with are the transitions. There are a lot of these really cool fog and haze effects and they just look incredible. And you could see how with something like this, it can take your game to an entirely new level without a lot of work at all. I am so excited to use this in literally all of my projects. Oh, and did I mention it even has a mobile mode too. All right, moving on to number two, I have a free asset for you. If you've ever tried to make your own fire effects, you know that it can be challenging and it's not as straightforward as it seems. If you want some really great out of the box effects, these are great. You can tweak the colors very easily. You can also tweak the haze and distortion levels. It even comes with different flame sound effects and smoke effects. When it comes to free assets, this is about as good as it gets. Highly recommend checking this one out. Only thing to keep in mind with this one is that it is currently only compatible with the built-in render pipeline. This one is also super cool. It is a liquid simulator. It's compatible with all render pipelines and it's even light enough so that you can use it on mobile. While it covers the basics that you think it would cover, like rivers and streams, waterfalls and fountains, it has even more advanced physics simulations, like being able to mix liquids and have it look realistic, such as having a bloody blade in water. What I think is particularly cool about this though is that you can turn models into liquid. I could easily see a game where, as an effect, instead of ragdolling on death, you turn into a liquid, or turning enemies into liquid when you shoot them. You can change the colors and characteristics of the properties as well, which is making me think of the Sandman in Spider-Man 3. I could also easily see this in a horror context as well, enemies that are completely bloody or enemies that are like a black tarry consistency. Again, I feel like this is bringing me back to Spider-Man 3 and Venom, but I feel like there's a lot of possibilities with this one. If you end up using it, let me know how you're using it and how it goes. Here's one I actually didn't expect to be here this early, Emerald AI. Emerald AI has been a steady standard for AI in Unity games for a long time, but they just released Emerald AI 2024, which is bigger and better than before. Black Horizon Studios have actually rewritten the entire code, so it is an entirely new system, but it has all the same functionality as Emerald AI 3.0. They've completely redone and simplified the setup and have made it easy to create and duplicate AIs. So now it takes a few seconds to set up versus five to 10 minutes as before. 
They also have a built-in animation viewer, which is a massive improvement. When you have these complex AIs and you're dealing with 50 to 100 animations, debugging those is the absolute worst, so I'm very excited for that. They've also added a lot of functionality, but they've included 19 demo scenes so you can really get your bearings and be aware of just what all is possible, which is really nice because sometimes it's hard to tell with assets when is it the assets limitation and when is it your own understanding that is not giving you the best results. A cue scene of my awful AI that I made when I tried to remake Redfall. But they've also included this Souls demo made with Emerald 2024 that's showcasing their new modular ability system. And all of this is no code and highly customizable. This is the future of, of coding, it really is. And it's just so much more realistic than before. They've really done an awesome job. Here's another free one for you. This is a modular tune pack that you can use to create your own tune style world. There are six different color themes and everything you see here is modular, but is also available on the individual level. So you're not restricted to the world blocks. You can create your own blocks and platforms if you so choose. Uh, this is their intro. Get used to the asset. If you like it, they have a paid version with a lot more, but this in itself you could do a lot with. It reminds me a lot of Fall Guys, also very similar to Tunic, and it's giving like 2D retro Pokemon town vibes. Very nicely done. Go check it out. Here's another free one for you, and I honestly can't believe that this is free, and it is the Caldera Prefab Painter Lite. I wish I knew this existed when I first started learning game development because this would have helped me out greatly. And what it does is it allows you to paint prefabs into your Unity scenes. So you can create a palette of prefabs to put in your scene, say like vegetation, you might want a bush and a flower and grass, you get the idea. But what's truly great about this is that it has auto height detection. So if you're building a scene with multiple heights like platforms and cliffs and rocks, you don't have to worry about accidentally placing your prefab like three feet above the ground. It also has auto detection for rotation as well, so it feels very natural. It also lets you paint in straight lines, in bundles and shapes, which is really cool. And it lets you adjust each prefab very easily. So you can place several objects in your scene, resize them all very quickly, or delete them all with a brush tool instead of having to click in the editor and delete one by one. They also have an improved paid version if you want a lot more features, but the free version is an awesome tool in and of itself. Last but not least, we'll end with the paint in editor. If you've ever tried to make your models and especially paint them in Blender or another tool and get them into Unity, you know that it is a giant mess, which is why this video of mine has nearly 70,000 views at this point. It's not straightforward. However, it's not the modeling of the objects that makes it difficult, it's the materials. So what this does is it allows you to paint your models inside of Unity. You don't have to worry about that workflow anymore. I personally would love to see just how complex and capable this really is. It's really cool as it is already, but I would like to know just how complex you can get with it. I think I'm gonna wait on purchasing this one myself, but the reviews are already glowing, so who knows, maybe I'll end up buying this sooner than later. But if this does what it promises and can handle complex shapes and materials, this will be a game changer for everyone. And with that, I just wanna say thank you for watching. If you end up using any of these, let me know how it goes. I would love to see your project, so drop a comment below, and I hope to see you around.